Yeah, we're at the uh, Cedarwood Trust on the Meadowell Estate at North Tyneside. I think people are very uh, weary with uh, life in general. There's been a lot of uh, people who've been severely affected by austerity and there's a lot of, of anger about what that actually is and does it actually exist? Is it a real thing or are they just suffering for uh, somebody to fill somebody else's pockets? And I think that's a real um, issue that people are feeling. We have a lot of people who've been sanctioned. We have a lot, lot of people using food banks. Um, and that's really hurting the community. Meadowell's got a fantastic community spirit and, and it's a lovely, lovely place to live. However, um, you know, we've got lots of residents who have massive issues with bedroom tax. We have um, antisocial behaviour and education needs looking at. So, and health, of course. So that's the things that we would want the MP to be looking at and hopefully improving. The Meadow World's not been mentioned in the, the papers for the elections or anything. We're just one of the forgotten places. I live off £147 a fortnight. That is all I live off. I've got bills to pay and a struggle. We want an MP who's been in the heart of where we are. Someone who hasn't had everything handed to them on a plate. Someone who is been brought up in the estate where I'm speaking from, who's part of the community, who knows what it's like to have nothing. If somebody came down and came onto the estate and had a good look around, they would find out that we're not a bad state. And if I would like them to swap over for say maybe a week, we they lived on the benefits and somebody from the estate got this, got their money, then like, see, if they got sanctioned, then they would know what it's like having nothing. This election, for me, should be about making life for young people um, more suitable in the future for them. Um, too many times I see that the fact is that it only ever seems to be for uh, either really young people or really old people. Now, not to be prejudiced against them, but too many often, especially this, what I see is young lads, 16 to 25, that don't get looked after at all. Um, everyone seems to forget them. The apprenticeship wage is two pound or three pound an hour, and it sets them up for a fail sometimes. To say, like, okay, come and do two years, and then next thing you know, sorry, there's nothing here for you. Um, I personally think that creating jobs or secure placements where they guarantee you a job at the end of it. Something I look for in a, in a candidate is not necessarily much as what they're worth on paper. Um, I personally like to see is that they are knowledgeable in what they're going to talk about. Um, if I've got a problem, I want to be able either at the end of a phone or uh, come to me street to say this is the problem. I will be face to face with them. I want to be approachable. I don't just want them to hide behind a desk in Westminster all the time. I think that in the election, um, we should focus on the benefit system and the fact that people at the minute, if they miss an appointment or are late for an appointment, their benefits are sanctioned, whether they're single people, families. Um, and a benefit sanction means they've got no money to feed themselves, they have to rely on food banks and it's um, making them increasingly ill. Some people on ESA are getting told that they're not entitled to employment support allowance and they're being kicked off employment support allowance and being told they're fit for work. Then the doctors are telling them they're not fit for work and you know there has to be, it has, there has to be a, more sensible, easier way. To be honest and upfront with us and see that we are trying to work hard to make things better for people on this estate. You know, clean up the street, there's a lot of mess, glass, broken glass. But an MP who will be there behind us, don't just preach what he says, but actually come in, get his hands dirty and help us so we can see that yes, he is following what he says. If a candidate wasn't here, it would be somebody that, that's, if they are saying like, we can do this and we can do that, to prove that they're going to do it, because it's okay in saying that they're going to do it. As soon as they get elected, that's it, they're not bothered. So we'd have to be somebody that, I would like somebody that would come on the estate and say, right then, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then it gets done, not just forget what after they've been elected. Um, I think people from the estate are looking for um, politicians who are, are honest and who are um, down to earth and 
who are actually listening to, to people on the ground.